How you doing, fam bam? This is Chris Mito here. I have some really important information for everybody out there that may own any of these AMD Ryzen Zen 4 processors. Regardless if it's a AMD Ryzen 7950X or AMD Ryzen 7800X3D or AMD's Ryzen 7900 without the X, you may be in danger because there is an issue that is going on with their processors. You may cause problems like this, and this and you're probably wondering exactly what is causing this issue because before we actually fix the problem it's really important for everybody out there to know exactly what is the cause of the problem at first this was brought up on reddit yes reddit who doesn't love reddit because you can let all your feelings out there into the public and let them know exactly what's going on and it becomes a controversial issue it became exactly that because amd responded its first response, they were gonna look over the processor and the motherboard to make sure that they are in coalition with each other working in the correct voltages. The original statement says, we are aware of the limited numbers of reports online claiming that excess voltage while overclocking may be damaging the motherboard and the processor itself. I'll let you read the rest yourself if you are interested in seeing what they have to say and you can pause this video to see exactly what they said on the very first and original statement. But they're practically saying, yeah, we hear it. we are hearing these issues, but I don't think it's that bad. Then it turned into a more serious issue, as everybody may or may not know. Processors and these motherboards, as you can see, burned out pins, warped processors. You had a lot of pointing at each other from manufacturers, from motherboard manufacturers to the processing company, AMD, pointing fingers at the motherboards. So eventually they got together and they figured out what the problem was. AMD came out with their statement stating, we have the root cause and the issue has already been distributed. A new AGESA that has been put in measure in the place on certain power rails of AM5 motherboards to prevent the CPU from operating beyond its specification limits. Practically what they meant is, yeah, the CPUs were being overvolted a little too much. Once it passed the 1.3 voltage mark, and then you are in some serious problems here. If you get an average of 1.4 to 1.5 volts, you won't notice an, an immediate effect on the processor itself. It's gonna be kind of a slow going on issue unless you're constantly playing or constantly creating on your PC, then you will eventually start to notice some sort of performance issues. Because it is overvolting from the actual PBO and it's also overvolting from AMD's brand new Expo. It's the combination of these two from the Expo and PBO that is causing these processors to overvolt themselves. So there was a really not a standard limitation on there originally. There was some original fixes out there, which you can manually go into the BIOS itself and set the SOC voltages down to 1.3 so that way it doesn't overvolt beyond that limit. Or you can simply just turn off Expo and it will prevent these issues. There is already a hot fix that's pretty much out there and all the motherboard manufacturers such as ASUS, MSI, ASRock, Gigabyte, they pushed out BIOS firmware updates for most motherboards out there, whether it's an X670 or a B650, any of these motherboards that you have, there is a BIOS update out there and I'll show you exactly how you can update your BIOS. But the example that I will show you is through ASUS's example, so that way you can make sure that it's working properly. Also, how would you know if your processor is overvolting and how can you really prevent this issue? And it's really simple. All you have to do is download something like Hardware Info 64, or you can use something like MSI Afterburner as Rivera Tune, to, so that way you can track it. Like if you play a lot of games and you wanna track the actual SOC voltage, you shouldn't let it exceed the 1.3 voltage mark and it should stay below under those parameters. And if you don't know how to download something like Hardware Info, I do have a video based on it. It's really easy to set up and it only takes a few minutes, but 100% worth it because such as a purchase, such as a processor or a motherboard, it is really important to protect your hardware. If you have any pre-built PCs, such as HP, Lenovo, 
or you have something from Omen or any of these manufacturers that are pre-built PCs, make sure you go onto their manufacturer's website where you purchase the pre-built PC from and go onto the download section to make sure that they have an update for their BIOS because so that way you can prevent issues with your processor. Another sure tell sign, if you have some type of temperature monitoring when it comes to your processor, for example, 7950X3D's maximum operating temperature is 95 degrees Celsius. It's gonna vary between processors because that's at 170 watts and you compare it to a, something like a 7950X3D, it only takes up to 120 watts. The maximum operating temperature for that processor is up to 89 degrees Celsius. If you start to see it exceed those markers, then it's a very good possibility that your processor is already over volting. Another thing is you may not have to worry about it if you do not use the actual Expo overclocking settings or if you are using PBO on your AMD processor, because if you're not using either one of them, then more than likely you're probably not gonna run into the issue. Let's go into it and I'll show you exactly how to update your BIOS and show you what to look at. Make sure to have your flash drive plugged in and erase any extra BIOS information that you used before on your flash drive. And you're gonna wanna go into your manufacturer's motherboard's website and you're gonna go look for the newest update, which is this ROG Crosshair X670E update, the 1401, which is a beta, but that's okay. And once it's downloaded, you're gonna extract it into your USB drive. Once you extract it into your USB drive, make sure you rename it just in case, even though it may not be necessary, it's just a good idea or a good measure to do so anyway. So after you rename it, just simply click enter and then you're gonna go down to the Windows button to restart your PC. Once you restart your PC, F2 frantically until the BIOS pops up and then discard any uh, previous values. Just go into the tools section, go to ASUS Easy Flash 3 Utility and go to the USB where you see the renamed BIOS. It'll let you know which version it is, double check it, make sure it is the right one. As you see, it's the 1401. It will update now. Now on this video, it's gonna seem like the BIOS updates really quickly, but don't worry if it takes a lot longer than it looks because it takes like a good 15 minutes for the update. And also don't freak out when your BIOS resets because it is perfectly normal. Just don't touch anything and let the BIOS update itself, just press keys when you are prompted. Once you get back to the default BIOS, you can set your AI overclock tuner to what you usually have it. If you had Expo 1, you could put it in, Expo 2, you could put it in, you could put PBO back on. But if you just wanna play it safe, just to make sure that your AMD processor is working correctly, you could also leave them off. So fam man, guys, I hope you found this content very useful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you know anybody else who has an AMD Ryzen 7000 series processor or chipset, make sure you share this video with them so that way they don't end up burning out their PC. And also if not part of the big one level fan fan, make sure you go down and hit the subscribe button for more. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. And for all the newest updates, make sure to follow my Twitter handle right here as it is the same as my TikTok and IG as well. So fam man, guys, what are your thoughts about how AMD dealt with the situation or how these motherboard manufacturers dealt with the situation. Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Chris Mizo signing out.